You can be anything in London. I love Wolverhampton, I love what he represents and his home, my family are from Wolves and they're from Manchester and they're from Birmingham. I'm a Midlands kid with family in the North, you know what I mean? I've got no real basis in London. But when I came down to here, what I've sort of encountered was people that have interests and ideas about different things and they're really passionate about that and that's not necessarily mock. I think that that transfers through into my art because like within my art I like to just talk about indirectly about my race, about my working class and how that can be mobilised. I like to talk about um, heterosexuality and how men can sort of like express their emotions. This painting has sort of low-key lived in my head for quite a while. Like this character, this is my friend that I use quite often. I've actually followed this him as a character through my work for quite a few works now. And what I wanted initially was him in like this flower field, sort of like relaxing. Because the very first painting I sort of like did of his character, it's almost braggadocious. It's almost sort of like this guy thinks he's too sick for his own good. And then from there, I followed his sort of like downfall and like continue, continue downfall. So like this is almost like his lowest of the low. It's been a lot of fun making the painting. Um, I've been trying to sort of like push how the material can sort of um, enhance sort of story like that, like how you can sort of like mess around with different um, ways that we use oil paint so like the thickness, like how we can thin it out, how we can place him within the space, um, but also have this character placed within the space, but as an, as an idea as much as physically. Um, but it's almost like this is the start of his resurrection story. I don't know how much further I want to sort of like push him down for, through the mud, um, but I don't think it's going to be easy for this character. I'm not really trying to achieve any kind of like realism, even though my work is realistic. What I'm trying to achieve is more of a feeling and a mood, and that's more inferred by colour, that's inferred by composition, that's inferred by my ability to represent how I want to. I make work for me because I need to make it. For me, like painting is the thing that I need to do. It's a space where I can be ambitious and where I'm totally in control. You can't come into my studio and tell me what I should and shouldn't be painting because the paintings belong to me at that point. This belongs to me until it's done and then the people can interpret it in whatever way they want to. But for now, it's, it's mine. And I, th I like that, but I'm also a bit of control freak. So I think there's like a bit, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's an element. There's a two sides to that. So I don't know. It's almost like these paintings are like scenes within this like ongoing film, and the, but like to understand that is is to go around maybe a body of my work and sort of see how this painting connects through to this painting, how this is sort of how you can follow this character from his fall to his rise, all within um, all within the same room. She can sort of like walk around and sort of see that there's a story being told. You see, there's an intention to an ode to painting almost like you can tell that this guy is a painter that loves painting that loves what he's doing and you get to sort of see um, the different ways in which story can be told the different directions in which he's pushed character and um, pushed material just down to the opacity of paint the thickness of the paint the way that I'm using oil pastels and stuff like that so that I can stand proudly so that when my mum comes and sees what I've been doing it, or I've been working towards for the past four years. Can we sort of say, oh, okay, no, he's, he's doing the right thing. I spent the past two years figuring out like my voice a lot more. And that's not to sort of say that I'm still not figuring that out. I definitely am. I think that's imperative. I think that like being an artist means that you're constantly trying to evolve. And I think that like as I go down the road, I think there's so many things I haven't spoken about in my work and I want to. I think that like speaking directly about my race, speaking directly about what it was like to grow up in the household that I did. I think speaking about my politics, I think those are things that need to be spoken about right. And um, that time will come, but that takes education, that takes um, being aware of your surroundings, it means that you can't live with the echo chamber of your own thoughts and that will come and that will then change the work um, to also keep on pushing the material in which I'm working with and the way that I approach paint 
approaching each painting within a slight new different way and servicing what the painting needs. That, like again, is what I want to be able to say. But yeah, I was just rambling, I'm rambling. Um, I'm, I'm Shaq and I'm 21, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>